But let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off, man. Today is episode 58 of Manifest Mondays. Today we're going to be talking about sacrifices and what that, how that intertwines with success and greatness just overall. Uh, and especially with the year coming to an end, man, 2025 upon us. I think right now, what we talked about last week with Paige Poo and, and, and everybody now it feels like something's in the air, man. It feels like tis the season of going and getting it, man. So that being said, there's going to be sacrifices that will be made. So that being said, what are some of the sacrifices that you think y'all regularly make on the day to day? Oh man, I mean that that's a that's a good question, bro. I believe like every day, just if you're trying to get to that next level, you have to make some sacrifices, right? Mm-hmm. And for me personally, I would just kind of like just start with fitness. Uh, for me, waking up early at five thirty a.m. every day, going to the gym Monday through Friday. <laughs> that shit is yeah. hard. But over time, those are the things I believe you got to do if you have goals and if you're trying to get better. You got to be willing to do those things that are going to help you to get there. And in the beginning, it can be hard, and to this day, it's still hard. But you have to push yourself when you have these goals and aspirations you're trying to accomplish and those are the sacrifices you got to make right because at the end of the day you can't have it all in life right you either sleep in or you wake up early and do those things you either work mm-hmm. on that business or you still have your job you can't always do both and sometimes i believe that in order for us to get to that next level we got to do the, do some things that are uncomfortable right do, yeah. do some things that's gonna like push up out of our comfort zone but i believe those are the things that we got to do each day to get better and also like when it comes to business right working on like we talked about it before but the past couple of weeks uh, i've been more like consistent with like writing down my daily to do goals and doing that you know we started or started at the beginning of the year i started that but i wasn't as consistent like i've been the past couple of weeks so just doing those things every day it's hard right mm-hmm. it's not fun to sit down at night and just write down all your goals and then the next day not just writing them down but making sure you getting you completing everything you wrote down yeah. And I believe those are the sacrifices you have to make to get to that next level of success. So, yeah, I would say for me, those are the sacrifices that I'm, I make in my life day, on a day-to-day basis. basis. A shout out mm-hmm. to you, DG. I seen it on your story the other day. Um, you know, only for, it was only for your close friends, I think. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but you had, you, you, had to, you had to schedule for the day. But you had, you had the times next to it, too. And I know that's something that we talked about during doing this right. you know what i mean it's kind of like putting times on your actual daily goals right. so you know what time to do it and just not just like i plan on doing this no i'm doing right. this at 12 30. yeah i'm doing right. this at 5 30. Mm-hmm. i'm doing this at you know what i mean six so now nah, that's I, I seen that and i was like yep yes that's sir shit, that's bro. what's up man you know what I mean? yeah. so um yeah um for me man i for me i i think i for sure just sacrifice free time like i i don't not i do not like leave a lot of time to just chill or kick it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like when i get off i'm doing other things like i you know my uh, uh my five to nine might be busier than my nine to five for real for real you know what i mean right. yeah. I, I pack i pack it in there like that like you know what i mean so i think that's the biggest thing is i don't i don't i've sacrificed a lot of just kick it time there's not a lot of really downtime for me you know what i mean and it's because i you know i like I, I want to be better at things. I want to, you know, I mean, learn more. I want to do more. I want to, you know, um, you know, just exercise the energy that I have now. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cognizant of that. I'm, we're probably gonna have the, the most energy that we have ever at this stage in life. Yeah, moving forward, for sure. Right? For so sure. I, I try to, I try to maximize that. Like, you know, what I mean, if I'm supposed to kick it, I, I can kick it later when I, when I want to kick it. You know what I mean? But but right now I'm I'm definitely sacrificing a lot of, you know, just leisure time. So if, if people are asking me about, you know, um, you know, most shows and stuff like that, or maybe even a new movie that came out, I probably ain't seen it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I probably ain't seen it. You know what I mean? I, you know, here and there I might go to the movies, but I, that's something that I've cut out of my life is a lot. I don't watch a lot of TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I think that's something that I, that's big for me is just sacrificing that that free chill time you know what i mean that's yeah. that's 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 one of my biggest ones for sure facts and anybody for for anybody who knows ramon that boy's about three years behind schedule on movies and tv shows because i'll be asking i'll be asking him about something he'd be like nah i don't know <laughs> he'd, be like, he'd be like nah so i missed that one. he ain't lying when he said he'd be tapped out he'd be tapped out in the movies boy 
I missed out. Same I missed here. that one. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna find a way to watch a movie. I just went to the movies last night, so you know yeah. I'm gonna find a way to get a. I'm gonna catch a movie at some point. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and it ain't nothing wrong with it. Like there, there's just certain things that you have to sacrifice. So absolutely, if that's something that I'm sacrificing. What's what's something for you, Z? What's something? Oh, uh, y'all, y'all already know what I'll be sacrificing. On the anybody who knows me on the daily, I'll be no, sacrificing some sleep, boy. <laughs> sleep, sleep be nah, out of there. Like, but nah, though, I, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work on that, though. I, 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 I do. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I, I sleep maybe on average probably like five night, five hours a night. You know, maybe. Yeah. And uh, I'm not saying it's good. Right. It's definitely not. Right. But uh, when we talk about like just the sacrifices, just on the day to day of just trying to like achieve greatness and figure shit out, just on the daily, right? I think that's just one of the things. I've never been good about getting sleep. And that's I just, know. That, that, that's bro. just, a, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Any, like I said, anyone who knows me bro, knows dude, just, I'm, I do not be sleeping. That's, it's funny because, like, we be having a conversation just, and Ramon be like, yo, you hate sleep. And I'm I, like, I was, nah, bro. I about to just sleep. say it now. I was like, bro, <laughs> yeah. you have to hate sleep. You have to because there's no, he, there's he no possible sleep. way. I agree. Like, I he, because, like, sometimes I like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you under the bus a little bit. But sometimes <laughs> he, he'll like stack his schedule where there can't be sleep in there, right? right. Like, right? Like, yo, I'm going to do this, this, this. I'm going to go on this trip. Then when I get off, I'm going to fly back right. to right from right. the airport. I'm going to this other, you know what I mean? That's one thing. But then when his th- schedule's not like that, he still be, he'll call me at like, it'd be. 12 my time, so it was 2 a.m. there. He was just, what, what up, bro? I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> you ain't even got shit to do tonight. You just avoiding sleep, bro. So. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm like a little two-year-old who be fighting going to sleep and just like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stay up. I'm gonna just stay up, man. I don't Boy, know what it is. Man, man, I, might, I, might, I might be an insomniac, man, because I, I really just don't be sleeping. But uh, I do, I do love that, that when we travel because you're still late, so I wake up early. So it's good that you you, you don't sleep that way. So we always go to the gym together early in the morning. So I, I yeah. love that about you. I'm still, I'm gonna still get it. We still gonna get it. I'm gonna I'm be, I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna be tired, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shit. It is what it is. Because I, I like, I think I've just come along to like function well with like no sleep. That like on three, like three hours of sleep, like. I'll be like, I'll be. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be 100, percent but I'm like, all right, man. You still show up. I'm gonna give you that. Yeah. You still show up. Like, yeah, you, you show up. Work out a damn, bro. How you was up all late not last night? You're DJing right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So yeah, I already man, know that, time, that's, that's, yeah. that's 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 what I'll be sacrificing, boy. Yeah. Sleep, sleep, be out of there. Uh, besides sleep, the wild of sacrifices, like you know, I know you do make a lot, right? Like, yeah. I think. They- today I, I think on the day-to-day just other sacrifices that i make i think it's um kind of along with like what ramon said earlier is just i know i could be spending more quality time with like friends and stuff like that like on big occasions i always make an attempt to, to go out and celebrate like if it's a birthday or something like that i'm gonna try my best to show face you know but if we're just talking about on the day-to-day like you you know anyone who knows like the squad out here in New York, the squad is deep out here, you know, like the squad is deep in Denver, right? You know, like, so right. there would be often times where people just always want to kick it and want to do this and that. And honestly, you know, I'm just like, nah, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm just go ahead and skip. I'm, 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 I'm going to miss out on that one, right. you know, because right. it's just, could I go? Absolutely. But like, I know that what I'm doing is honestly more important and it, it may not even have to be like something super like major, like maybe I just want to like, sit down and for my own mental health i just want to like chill for a little bit like you know like it's gonna be better than me going out and especially new york outside you 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 twist the doorknob and you spent a hundred dollars already so you know i'm like i'm in this stage of of wanting to save money of just not really um horsing around you know just just this is the season of getting it man so right. i think i think that's that's a big sacrifice right. that you make and right. i think right. anyone encounters that on especially on the path to to, to success and greatness man right. there's going to be those moments where you know drake said it in 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 a in a bar right you know um while y'all was out partying i was making the music that y'all party too you know? sure. it's just like I, I think about stuff like that all the time is um it's it, it's that level of sacrifices people aren't going to get it right you know until until <laughs> you give them the reason to like it's just right. like oh okay now i see why you was doing this and doing that and it's just like yeah y'all didn't right. see it at the moment 
But you know, I was I, we was building. It's not like we was just like the sitting at the house, <laughs> like not doing shit. Like you know, right. like like you know, we was we was out here, man, just trying to figure it out. So I, I think those are the two things that I definitely be sacrificing is sleep and then um, just social interaction. Right. So my 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 question for you guys is like sometimes people make you feel bad about those things, right? Oh, bro, you don't show up to things. You never hang out with your boys. What is your response when your friends and people are saying that to you? Like, how do you? Like, how do you respond to that criticism, yeah. right? When people are saying mm -hmm. that. Um, for me, I, <clears throat> I think in action, I just have shown that I'm, I'm not your everyday friend. You know, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be a good friend, but I'm not a friend that's like is gonna always be down and go to the bar every night. Right. I'm not. I'm just not, not the everyday. You know what I mean? Because you know, like there's just things that I'm always. That I've been working on it and I'm always going to be working on. So I think partially you show it in action. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just show it with, with like how you're doing and just the more you schedule your day, the more it's kind of like, you know what I mean? I'm had to get back to you after the thing. So, you know, right. I'm, I'm pretty good about telling people when they hit me and I can't respond like that. I'll try that. I'll get back to them. Right. But, mm -hmm. you know, I think just like in practice, it, you know, people start to understand that, like, you know, that you, that's your, that your schedule is, stacked in that you have certain priorities, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, and I think over time, most of my close friends is like super um, ambitious at the same time too. So we just get it, you know what I mean? And yeah. we, we just understand, it, you know what I mean? So, you know, right. you know, if I talk to one of my homeboys, you know, every three, four months or something like that, we just chop it up randomly. But I understand that they, they've they been getting it and they understand that I've been getting it. So it's just kind of a mutual understanding. And yeah. I think it's, you know, for anyone to like, I think it's, it's, it's tough for, it's tough for me to understand for anyone to like put their expectation of how you should be spending your time. Right. You know I what mean? I mean? I, I don't think I'm, I'm open to letting people put like, this is what you should be doing with your time. I've, I've always right. been against that. Like, you know, like from when people didn't think I should be doing music young, it's like, I, this is how I want to be spending my time. I'm, I'm real selective with how I spend my time. And, yeah, exactly. and to combat that is kind of like what Z said. It's like when I'm there, though, right. you're gonna feel you're gonna feel my presence. I'm right. gonna be there. You're not you're you never gonna see me probably in a room with everybody right. just sitting in the corner like on my phone. Right. Like, nah, I'm right. you what up, you know what I mean? What's good? What, hey man, you know, take a drink, what we eating, where we going out, whatever. I'm I'm just I'm just present while I'm there. Yeah. So I try yeah. to I try to make the most of it when I'm there. Um, because when I'm not, I'm not. And that's For like sure. what well, it's the same thing. What people like about me, they don't like about me. It's like when I'm yeah. there, they they love how present I am. But when For I'm sure. not, sometimes exactly. they hate that they just can't get to me. But it's because right. yeah. I'm being present in wherever that room right. is. So right. that's just how I feel about that. You know, I agree. Thanks. I'm honestly, I think Ramon rubbed off of me a lot because. I'm I'm the same. I'm I'm the quality time friend. When we spend quality time together, it's gonna be quality. That that it's gonna be the highest of quality. We gonna be chopping, you know, talking about some deep introspective shit. You know, like having <clears throat> really dope conversations. We gonna be laughing, giggling, all that shit. And you know, maybe having a good. You know, it might be a vibe the whole time. Not even mine. It's gonna be a vibe. But uh, that's only gonna come every once so often. Right. You know, that's not gonna be all the time. That's not. I'm I'm not the type of person that um I hate texting. So like if if anyone who knows me, like if it comes to texting, I'm I'm a terrible texter. I'm I'm much I'm much more like the person let's just hop on the phone call real quick, you know, let's knock this out. Even if we on the phone for like three, four hours, you right. know, like it's gonna be a quality conversation. For sure. If we're in person, you know, much to Ramon's point, I'm I'm devoting you know 100 percent of my effort and my energy to you, you know, in this present moment because I want to be here, you know, kind of thing. But if you're just expecting this level of effort all the time, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Like you can't. You, like that's that's just unrealistic, right? That's that's not sustainable, you know, right? right? I, I can't I can't give you that level of effort. I can't give anyone that level of effort all the time. I'm like, bro, nah. You gotta your social battery be draining, and, and I feel like right. in more recent years, in my thirties. Like I've, I've definitely come to realize like my social battery drains a lot faster than it used to. You right. know, in my twenties, I used to, you know, I used to be able to really like, just like tolerate like a bunch of like shit and bullshit. just, you know, yeah. be horsing around yeah. like a lot of bullshit, you know, and whatnot. Now I'm just like, nah, man, I think you really have to be picky, choosy about your time. Right. You I know, mean. you have to be mindful of your time, your energy and all that shit. Cause the exchange of it, I mean, to be honest, 
who you spend your time with, who you are having conversations with, all of that stuff, it, it takes a toll, you know, and um, it just it just adds up. It builds up over time, right? And it's just like, man, sure. I'd rather be spending that time with people that I truly admire and that inspire mm-hmm. me and that I value. Um, and therefore, like that, like I said, if I'm there and I'm there with you, I'm gonna be I'm there 100. percent I'm more of an all in or all out kind of kind of person. I'm all, like when I'm there with you, I'm all in, you know, right. like. Otherwise, I am all the way the fuck out. You know, right. and I'm just like, you know, I'll, I'll tap in with you the next time that we tap in. But that's what I value about a lot of the relationships that I've built over time is that a lot of the people understand that. And it's just like, it's always going to be love. We don't have to talk every day to know that it's always love. For sure. You know, anyone who's on this call uh, or, or or on this live understands that. Anyone who knows that I truly like that I have a genuine relationship and that, um, they know how I feel about them. And, and they know that like, whenever we see each other, whenever we talk on the phone, whenever we're randomly hitting each other up, just like via text message, whatever the case may be, it's going to be a great conversation and it's going to be a great time to catch up. And honestly, it's like no time ever passed, For sure. you know, from, even if it was like the last time we talked, it was like 16 months ago. Like, it was just like, damn, it's already been that long. It's like, shit. Like, you know, like what, what you been up to, you know, it's just, right. you know, but um, like I said, you can't give that, that type of effort to everyone all the time you know like sure. even to one person that's hard man you know so you damn sure can't be you know um spreading yourself just too thin because otherwise you'll get burnt out i agree uh, definitely for me shout it's out like to, shout out to Paige real quick look dg uh, i just want to say she, she she uh commented she said i've been so picky about my time lately i i used to spend so much time um so much, <clears throat> much overtime with people until very recent that has taken away from my priorities. Yep. That's a fact. It's, it's, it's facts. Right. It's facts. Uh, man. That's for sure. What about be, what it be easy? Be easy. We, we have a million problems until we have a health problem. Then you only have one problem. Facts. Yeah. I oh, think man. I think he was talking about me sleeping. Oh. He's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <I think> he, <laughs> he was like, that boy don't be sleeping. He gonna end up with some kind of health I mean, problem. I, I, I hope I, not. I agree. You I know, hope. Hey man. Hey man, don't be putting that out to the universe, man. Relax. I mean, you're not, relax. You're let let, let me be team no sleep, man. Nah. Like but last time, general, last time I, I think he's I'll go ahead. Now I was gonna say last time I got my doctor checked up, I was, I'm per- I'm in perfect health, baby. I'm good. I mean I'm good. We live let's let's hopefully keep it that way. I think but like, more more so he was talking about just the priority yeah. of things too. It's like right, right, right. like the health priority right. has to be the number one or else like you know what I'm saying, because anything else you can't do anything. And DG talks about that all the time. Right. You can't do anything if right. the health is not up. But sleep right. health is a thing, my brother. It, it is. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna sit here in front like it ain't. I it, I understand. I understand. Right. Am I gonna get better? Maybe. <laughs> no, you have to get better though. Not maybe. We go. No, maybe. we gonna get better. We gonna get better. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. maybe your melatonin. I, I'm, or I'm, something, my brother. I'm, I'm gonna need to start Z, tapping Z, into Z some. Some. I gotta tap into all the M's, the melatonins, the magnesiums. Right. The... Right. Oh, man. You, you got you gotta start your day early, and then by you know by eight nine p.m. you'll be done, and then you can go to sleep. Early. Nah, you start he, he's starting his day early, bro. <laughs> bro. <Super> early. <laughs> I honestly could not tell you the last time I went to bed before midnight. Like, I yeah. couldn't tell you. I, I I just I I could I couldn't tell you. Like, I really don't know. No, that was, um, I ain't gonna lie. The past couple of months, I've been better because now my best time, bad time is like ten thirty. I've been doing a lot better. That's fine. You know, that's fine. You know, like you said, bro, I'll be up late too sometimes, right? Yeah. Well, like you know what? Going to like this year, I want to make some positive changes, and one of them was like getting like better quality sleep. You know, yeah. I think overall, just with my performance, how I feel during the day, it been helping me a lot. And also, I I, I was trying to add on that. It was like. We're talking about prioritizing, prioritizing our time. For me, if it's not about the F word, fitness, finances, my family, mm-hmm. I'm not really interested, right? Because those are the things. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna call me and talk about money, let's talk about investment. Like, I'm always down to learn, right? I'm always down to like you know pick brains and like elevate our life. But if you just want to talk about some bullshit, like about <laughs> who Kansas City is playing, the Broncos sports yeah. nowadays, I don't have time to uh, talk about all these BS, bro. Because I think like time is so limited. We have 24 hours during the day. Now, like we trying to be more optimal with our time, yep. so I need to prioritize. Like I need to get stuff done, so I don't want to like spend two hours just talking about sports when I'm not even playing sports. Yeah, I want to talk about things that I'm doing. Like, Agreed. you know, why am I wasting time talking about sports when it's not going to help me to get to my goals? So now, yeah. it's like, if anything, conversation is not going to like help me get towards the, my goals and where I want to mm-hmm. be. I'm not going to spend time on that. So what? And those, like I said, you know, sometimes it's like 
damn, people like feel like feel like they don't really they can't really get to you, right? Because at the end of the day, they have to be willing to do certain things before you can link up with them. At the end of the day, I feel like that's what I'm choosing right now. Yeah. So either like you yeah. we get on board. That's why it's easy to talk to you guys because whenever I'm talking to you guys, I'm learning something. We learn yeah. from each other, right? We're not just yeah. wasting time Thanks. talking about all these BS. Right? <laughs> We're talking <laughs> about investment, business, yeah. like all these things, and that's the conversation I want to be have, uh, having. It. Those are the type of conversation I want to be having. I just finished my life, you know. So absolutely, because because you know what, one hundred, not one hundred. I'm gonna say ninety eight percent of the time, what they talking about? Bullshit. They ain't talking about nothing. Yeah. They ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> that, that's what the, that's what most people be talking about is nothing. And so, um, shout out to Gracie. She says, "V, you need them Z's." I know. I'm I'm working on that's it. I'm fact. working on it. I'm. Oh, we, I'm <laughs> we, we, we all your kids. We all saying that. Dude. Everybody's on my helmet today. Everybody chose to just be on my helmet today. So I'm like, all right, man. I see. Hey, I see. I see what side of the bed y'all woke up on this Monday. Y'all, 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 y'all woke up and chose violence today. So I'm like, all right. But um, uh, you mentioned making changes now right so what are what are some of the things that you're willing to sacrifice now for your future self that your future self would be grateful that you made those sacrifices now a lot man even like when it comes to like we're talking about finances right there are places and things i want to do right now i want to go but i can't do that right now because there are some like financial goals i'm working working towards so I can't really do those things right now. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I want to go out and like ball it out, but I can't do those things right now, you know, because <laughs> I have like goals and things. So yeah, I mean, it sucks sometimes, you know, by the end of the day, you know, life is not just all about money and all that stuff. But like for me, I have things I want to accomplish. And I believe if I do those things, it's going to like help, it's going to like screw me away from my goals and things. So I'd rather make those sacrifices right now. There are things I want to buy, right? But I can't do that right now. There are places I want to go, you know. There are also like when it comes to just my time, I'm sure there are some times like I was like, man, f this, I don't want to do any work right now. I just want to uh, sit here and chill, but I cannot, I can't afford to chill because like mm -hmm. lately, bro, I think I'm working with a sense of urgency, right? Because I realize I just fit stage in my life, right? If you if you look 34, like the average American live up to like 70, 75 years old. So if you like 34, 35, like we halfway there. Yeah. So now, you know, like yeah. my goals before like five, 10, 20 years, but like I want to accomplish these goals in a short, shorter time frame. So I got to do way more than I'm doing right now. So I can't afford, you know, to do these things that I want to do. So I got to make the sacrifice right now to like delay those things. So hopefully long-term I can be able to accomplish those things in my life. Yeah. That's on the money, brother. That's <laughs> on the money. I'm definitely, I'm definitely willing to, sacrifice on some certain experiences just because i know it doesn't make sense right now right yeah right that's i think that's one of the biggest things i just i just know like certain experiences i'm gonna have to sit this one out because you know for a bigger experience on the other side of that you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's like right. i'm certain you know um even though i've been trying to get a lot better about figuring out how to do both <clears> you know what i mean it's like you know whether that's you know using credit cards to get points to get tickets to do other things you know what i mean right. so it's kind of yeah. like I'm, i've yeah. been i've been kind of getting cognizant about how i can do both on certain things but i'm definitely definitely willing to sacrifice on experience and and spend a certain a certain amount in order to invest mm -hmm. in my future self you right. know what i mean yeah. but um i say another, another thing that i'm uh <clears throat> I'm willing to sacrifice um uh damn i just had it i just had it i was just thinking about something um I, I i'll come back to it but for now i think the big the biggest thing is is i'm i'm, I'm willing to sacrifice i no, I, I thought of it i'm willing to sacrifice certainty on certain things mm -hmm. right you don't know where an event, where where an investment is gonna go you don't know where um if you if you make a, a play that doesn't all the way make sense yet but you just see it in your mind as like it's a possibility i'm willing to sacrifice the certainty of like yeah, you know I mean, this might, might not make the, the decision might not make sense to everybody, but I'm just trusting my vision to be like, I'm I don't I'm not certain that, you know, what I mean, if I invest in XRP or if I, yeah. you know, invest in a house overseas, that it's a good decision or not. Yeah. But it makes more sense to the life that I'm trying to head to. So I'm exactly. willing to, to sacrifice the certainty of like, if I put my money in the bank, it's going to stay there and, and, and it's just going to sit there. I know that for yeah. sure. But I'm willing to put it in different places and have the uncertainty of I'm not sure how it's going to move, but I'm just right. going to trust the process. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's, yeah. that's that's the other thing I was thinking of. I'm willing to sacrifice that. Yeah, right. that's, that's a bar, bro. Like, well, 
that's a that's a bar. Shout out to Butterfly Wolf for tapping in. But uh, yeah, bro, that's a bar. I mean, I think what we talk about it all the time, right? What drives people more than anything else is fear, and it's fear of uncertainty, right? You know, people want to be certain of each and everything. You know, they they're, like they want to just be able to control everything, and, and I'm like. I've come to realize that a lot of life, it, it operates in the gray area, right? There's, it's not black or white. You got to right. figure it out. Like, and sometimes you just got to take a leap of faith, right? That's why I'm, I'm so big on, on my spirituality and faith because, you know, um, when you, when you trust in yourself, trust in the process enough and just, um, trust in whatever higher calling that, you know, like that you, that you believe yourself to be here on this planet, it'll all work out, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you got to think about it from that, like when you, when you have that abundant mindset, you don't ever know, like, you don't always know how it's going to work out. You just know that it is. Now, I'm not saying you should use that as an excuse to go out and just do reckless shit. Right. I'm, not, I'm not saying that at all. Like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to blow this $17,000 $17, on this on this uh, stock option play because, you know what, fuck it. We going to the moon or we going to the grave. I'm not saying right. that. You right. should do some research. You right. should do your due diligence, you know, and whatnot. But um, in order to accomplish any kind of greatness in, in uh, anything of substance of value um it takes uncertainty it takes risk it takes not knowing what the outcome is always going to be right. and i think that's what like that analysis paralysis when people are like oh i just don't know how this is going to end it's just like right. it's okay though right you know just like you said you got to trust in the vision you got to tr that's the beautiful thing about vision right only you have the ability to see it right. you know like that's 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 why it's literally a gift is because mm -hmm. you are seeing something before anybody else can right. before it actually becomes a tangible thing before it actually comes into life that's why it's a beautiful thing that's why it's a gift right god gave you this gift for this reason because no one else can see it only you are the one who can see it and can fulfill that 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 vision that you have right you know so at the end of the day i'm gonna trusting myself each and every time man you know because my future self is going to be so glad and not even just my future self my future like my the people around me like like our future generations like everybody's going to be glad like hey i'm, I'm glad he, he decided to make that decision because that's right. that, that was the turning point for everybody because you know when they say generational wealth when they say that um you know um just any any kind of abundance and stuff it, it all starts with one person right it takes one person in order to like alter the trajectory of your entire family's bloodline like and sure. moving forward forever sure. right yeah. it starts with one person but you have to genuinely believe <clears throat> without 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 any doubt in your mind right. that you can fulfill this right you know right. and even when you have those moments of doubt you have people around you like your like ourselves you know who encourage one another and who implore each other to 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 push boundaries and uh live out our deepest desires and our in our and all of our hopes and dreams man you know so a lot of that is going to take a lot of sacrifice and, and that's the sacrifices that we're making right now like we said the social life like could we go out and attend every <coughs> single social gathering absolutely <coughs> absolutely are we going to no I'm, I'm going to sit this one out you know right. because at the end of the day i know what i'm working for what i'm trying to build the life that i'm creating not just for myself but but for all the people around me for future generations to be a philanthropist all these things it's going to take a lot of sacrifice it's going to take right. a lot of calculated risk it's going to take um just a lot of uncertainty and right. i'm okay with that you know like i think i find myself to function in uncertainty in the realm of uncertainty a lot more than other people do right. um and and that's the point of being a risk taker right you know right. you're the one who's willing to put your skin in the game put your put your skin on the line right. you know you got you're willing to invest your time your effort your money into yourself because at the end of the day i know i know it's gonna pay off right. So my future self, we're going to be having a conversation and be like, hey, man, you a motherfucking real one. I'm going to be like, no. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of you, boy, to yourself. Though. I'm, proud of, I'm you, proud of you, boy. <laughs> no, it's, it's fact. And, and one thing you guys talked about, you know, uncertainty. I think that's one of the things that makes life beautiful. Because if life was certain and everything you do was certain, it would be boring, right? Because you would know everything. You would know the entire script. Imagine yes. if you knew all your investment, all your move, how it's going to turn out to be. Like, that's not fun. Right, imagine like mm -hmm. growing up as a kid, right? You, you never knew that like, you're gonna have a friend. I didn't know I was gonna have a friend like you guys, right? Like I never thought about it because I used to be in Philly, moved to you know, came to Colorado. Now my entire trajectory of life is completely different. I think the uncertainty aspect of life makes life beautiful, right? Because sometimes yeah. you try things you don't know. You're like, oh shit, you're afraid, and then before you realize that little investment compound now into like something way bigger. 
you go out there, you're free you as that person. And now that girl will become your wife, yeah. right? You, you, you try that business and now that business 10X, right? And I mean, they, I feel like most often we are so afraid of uncertainties and we don't try anything because we just want to know how everything is going to turn out to be. But I believe like uncertainty is what keeps us going. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you keep trying new things. You like, you, you don't know how tomorrow is going to be, right? That's the uncertainty part of it. Like we're doing things today right now to help shape tomorrow, but we don't know how tomorrow is going to turn out to be. Yeah. And that's okay. You know, we're not going to sit here and worry about, oh, what's tomorrow is going to be like? We don't yeah. know, right? The right. good thing about all these things is like nothing is guaranteed. We're just doing everything to increase the odds of success. That's right? right. They, like the probability, right? Because it's like, we just want to do more. And we know for sure that the more we stay focused, the more we do all these things, we just overall increases our probability of success. It doesn't mean like everything is going to be guaranteed. Right. It just overall increases the probability and of us getting to that next level. You know? Absolutely. We just making educated guesses right. every day. Right. That's, <laughs> it. That's, That's it. it man. Off everything we everything we know, we just like all right. After everything I know, I think this is the best use yep. of my time today. Yep. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm making educated guesses every day. I'm, I'm hypothesizing every day, baby. Just making them educated guesses. That's it. Right. That's, That's it. That. Okay, just an educated yeah. guess, like. But you know, but man. shout out to Be Easy. He said God's plan and timing is never wrong. I, I, amen, man. For sure. You know, won't he do it, man? Won't he do it? That's what sacrifice is about, man. Where we're supposed to be, man. And, yeah. And just and and you could see the signs sometimes, man. Y'all could right. y'all could really you could see the signs that like there's certain things that just happen in your life that you just realize like I don't know how the fuck I got here, but whatever the decisions I made put me right in this moment at this time right. for what, right. whatever reason. And that is, you know what yeah. I mean? And, right. You know, I think you just kind of, you, you got to sit in that and you got, it's good to acknowledge it in that moment. Like the sacrifices that I did right. got me in this position and I, the yeah. sac sacrifices I will make will put me in that next right. position. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Absolutely. And Absolutely. Also, and of course, shout out to Be Easy, man. Like I watched his story, like I'm always inspired because I saw his post. He was at 4 a.m. like putting signs up for Q-Hall. I was like, bro, that's yeah. dope. 4 a.m., yeah. bro, that's sacrifice right there. How many people actually willing to wake up at 4 freaking a.m. to go outside and post signs about their business. Most people are probably, you know, f fucking snoring. <laughs> like, fucking like, I don't know, in bed. I'm, I'm, but he's I'm one there. of those most. I'm one of those most. <laughs> at 4 a.m., I'm snoring. No, you're not. Z. Right here, bro. 4 a.m. <laughs> hey, shout out to you, man. I see you, Be Easy. I see you, bro. Shout out to Be Easy, yeah. man. That, 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 that's dope. that's why that's why he has the best junk removal company in Denver, in Colorado, oh, wait a minute, just as a whole. You know, so 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 shout out to Be Easy, man. He's out there right holding it down. Shout, shout out to Q Hall Junk Removal, man. If y'all need junk removal done in and anywhere in Colorado, he got you, man. You know, so yeah. shout out. That's the, it, that's the level of sacrifice. That's it, man. For president, bro. Q you know, because president, man. Yeah, for I was like, damn, he's up at 4 a.m. I was at 6 a.m. I got to go hard in the gym. Be easy, beat me to this morning. He up at 4 a.m. I'm just waking up yeah. at 6 a.m. I feel like a loser this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and shout out to uh, Butterfly Wolf. He just made a, he made a very valid point. He said, most people don't like to be uncomfortable at all because that's, uh, but at the end of the day, that's where the best work in art and feeling and faith exists. I absolutely agree. I, I honestly think some of the best things in life come from discomfort, from right. come from yeah. being uncomfortable, you know, because yeah, um, if if you lived in your comfort zone all year, nothing would get done. You would never you would never do anything differently. Right. And right. just like you said, DG earlier, what kind of life is that? Are you really even living at that point? You're just existing, you know, yeah. right? The The greatest. <laughs> The greatest successes in life came from being uncomfortable. It took somebody like crazy to go and try and fucking build a plane to fly it. Right. Like, That's think wild. about that. Like, I'm going to try and build a vehicle. All, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm going to go try and build a vehicle to fucking fly. Like, right. I'm talking about being off the ground, bro. Like, shit like that is just like, yeah, it comes. It's 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 so logical to us now because it's just become such a huge part of our culture now. But mm -hmm. can you imagine like being being those innovators, right? Being right. the people who challenges the status quo and whatnot. It's not easy to do that, you know, right? And it takes it takes a whole lot of faith. It takes a whole lot of belief. It takes a whole lot of sacrifice. A whole lot of people just not understanding you and being misunderstood um, just at the end of the day. Um, but I did want to also touch on, you know, I know we've talked about a lot of the things that we're willing to sacrifice. What are some of the things that are like the non-negotiables for y'all that y'all are not willing to sleep, sacrifice? Sleep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, I, I feel like everybody's on my helmet today, man. I feel I feel all these personal attacks, man. I'm like, what's up, man? Everybody woke up and chose violence. I'm no, like, hold on, man. The, for me, hey, I would say... Fuck your sleep. I would say... Uh, <laughs> uh, you said weed. <laughs> weed. Come on, man. Uh, uh, you know, we need... That's hilarious. Weed. <laughs> we smoke weed every day. Smoke weed no. every day. <laughs> hey. <laughs> nah, I, I would say for me, man, it got to be like my physical and mental health, right? You know, because for me, I believe like health is wealth. So I don't care how much money, I don't care how much, whatever it takes, I'm not willing to sacrifice my health for anything else, right? Because at the end of the day, that's the, that's the only thing we have in life, right? Health. Because at the end of the day, man, if you don't have health, nothing else matters. And I'm not willing to sacrifice that. And also my family and friends, for sure. There's nothing I'm willing to sacrifice for like the people that I have in my life. Yeah. You know, no, I don't care how much money, whatever it takes, but I'm not willing to sacrifice those two things. So I would say health for sure, physical, mental health. Yeah. And my family, people I care about. Yeah. Yeah, that's for me. That's my non-negotiable. I, I don't care. You know, like you see something, you see CEOs, like they got all the money in the bank, but they're overweight. They're not in great shape. They, all that stuff. I'm not, no. For real, I'd rather be, you know, I'd rather be a scrub or have an average life and have a good health to have mm -hmm. all the money in the world and then have terrible health because at the end of the day, you know, like those things don't bring me value because I believe like health is wealth, man. Health is wealth. But to like move around, do the things that you love, you know, I'm not willing to sacrifice that for anything, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great ones, bro. Yeah, I'd had to, I'd had to throw both those in mind. Um, especially in, in, like I said, I don't, I don't need necessarily a lot of quality time with my people, but I need right. some, you know right. what I mean? So if some people hit me sometimes, it's like, you know, if I'm going to slide over my, my mom's crib and spend time with my mom and my niece, or if I go to Denver and I'm spending time with the family or, you know what I mean? Like I take that time serious. Like, you know, it's, it's always been like that for me too. It's like, you know, um, if, if somebody called me when I was at my family's house, like, you know, um, where you at? Oh yeah, I'm at my family's house. Oh, what time you about to be done there? I might not have a real answer with you. I right. might not be done. Like I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna be here. I'm here. Mm -hmm. This is where I'm at. Yeah. This might be the last stop. I, you know, I don't know, cause I, cause I do take that time serious. You know what I mean? I, I really do. It's always been like that for me. So that's, that's a, um, that's definitely a big one for me. Um, and I think uh, another one that's kind of a, it's, it's I'd say like a personal one that, that for me is I need some alone time right. <laughs> just, I, that's when something i'm not willing to sacrifice i like i just couldn't i personally couldn't be around people all the time right you know what i mean like so i i need some alone time to just reset like you like z said kind of recharge that social battery kind of like put my ideas down i need some some quiet alone time to like i don't know how much that is a day but i need some of that time but that's not negotiable to be in order to to kind of get myself in the right mode to, yeah. to move the way that I do. You know what I mean? I, I feel like we all like move really calculated in certain things that we're going towards. And for me, what's needed to be that calculated is some time where it's like everything is kind of shut out and cut off and I can get my, my, my ideas down in, you know, on paper. It's always been that though. It's, right. been, it's been that with music <laughs> with me. You know what I mean? I just, I think to disconnect from the world and put my ideas down the paper, what we do, mm -hmm. a lot of things that we do now is the same as music. It's the creation of something. You know what I mean? And that's 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 one thing I, you know, why uh, Butterfly and Be, Be Easy, uh, Q-Baby was in here, I wanted to talk about a little bit is just that piece is like doing music at certain points of your life. It was right. always uncertain. Every song you make, you don't, you never know where it's going to go. Right. It was always uncertain. But um, music has just taught me in other ways to how to structure my ideas into something that I create and then implement. It's the yep. same process for a lot of things that I do is all the same process as creating a song to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, it's, and then, and then at that point, everything is music. You know, so there you see. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Everything sure. is music, man. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's big for me. Yeah. Y'all just, y'all just stole all the good answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i'm gonna just i'm gonna just second everything y'all said yeah. I, but nah i i absolutely agree my non-negotiables when it comes to sacrificing or i should say lack thereof what i'm not willing to sacrifice is for sure my people you know I, I there's there's no amount of money no nothing in this world that would make me jeopardize my relationships that i built with like my people at the end of the day you know um i think 
you could have everything in the world or like anything that would be tangible right you know um, materialistic but if you don't have a support system if you don't have a network of people if you don't have a community uh, around you what's the point of really like having all of that right you know like you you have all of this to yourself and it's just like i don't know the idea of being rich and wealthy is so much more fun when you get to do that with your people right like sure. why would you want to be rich by yourself like to me that's just that's weird like yeah. why would why would I not want my people to win? Why would I not want to uplift the people around me? Because at the end of the day, it's it's going to benefit everybody. For you know, sure. how am I supposed to have a rich friends trip if I'm the only rich one? Exactly. Like, nah, man. So we all going to be rich together is what I'm saying. And um, at the end of the day, that's just a non-negotiable for me, man. It's my people. You know, I think I think my people mean everything to me. My relationships, the uh, yeah, it's just, I think that's what keeps, that sense of community I've, is what I've really come to learn as I've gotten older, is what really, like, keeps everything together for right. me, you know, because right. when you don't, when you don't have community, right, you know, I think you find yourself in um, weird, weird spots and, and patches in life, right? right, you know, it's just like, you're taking on life entirely by yourself, and, and that, that, we all know the journey of life is hard, man. And right. if you have to tackle that all by yourself with no kind of support, right. no one behind you at any right. given moment, bro, that just sounds tragic. Right. You know, so um, definitely my people. I think another one is just overall, I know you mentioned health. Um, kind of piggybacking off of that is just overall quality of life. You know, right. like I think that's something that I'm I'm not willing to uh uh that's a non-negotiable for me right. you know is right. is just the overall quality of life you know um at the end of the day I want to have great health physically mentally spiritually you right. know I want to um you know just wake up every day I think when you have a great quality of life it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor you like you're still right. going to have a great mindset for right? sure. you know so um I think waking up with that fire and that desire in you each and every day i think it comes from the quality of life and quality of life starts with you you know right mm -hmm. and so it's all mental right you know so i think that's something that i'm not willing um to uh negotiate or waver on is is my overall quality of life as well um, sure and uh yeah no i agree man talking about just you know your family and friends i feel like life is all about relationship right it, it, mm -hmm. it might be platonic relationship romantic relationship because at the end of the day we human beings we need each other around we, we you know i feel like that's one of the one of the main reasons we were able to like you know adapt and move on and be able to do a lot more right because it's easier if you have if ramon and i are working together we can look after each other then if i'm yeah. just by myself right so at the end of the day, i think that's really important so that's for me it's like that's why i'm, I'm not willing to be able to sacrifice that because we need we need tribe we work together when we have people around you know because like you know, i grew up in like a very like an interdependent culture we look after one another like when i wasn't around like people in the community look after me so i grew up i grew up with that environment that we look after one another so for me it's like definitely that's my non-negotiable mm -hmm. you know now i'm not willing to like trade off my people for anything else man i don't care how much money you pay me you know, I don't agree. Care how much I, agree. I'm not wanting to do that because one thing I learned, man, quality people are hard to find. You, you, there's so much, there's unlimited amount of money to be made in this world. Thanks. But I believe like genuine people and genuine soul are rare, you know, because I believe we have so yep. much time with the work we were putting in, we are going to be able to accumulate and make so much more money. But to find dope people who is going to be there for you want to see you succeed, those those are like jams, bro. They're so hard to find. So I'm not yeah. willing to trade those for anything else, man. It's easier, mm -hmm. it's easier to make a dollar than it is to make a friend. Right. Especially like a genuine one. A quality right. one, I'd right. honestly say it's easier to make $10,000 than it is to I make agree. a genuine friend. Absolutely. I, I, maybe maybe 100. I don't know. I You know, I don't know. I You know, it's just, it's just not... It's not comparable. Right. Yeah. It's not comparable because you know, like, how, how and how far how far could ten thousand dollars really go? Exactly. How far could the genuine friend go? You know what I mean, it's okay. they're, not, Forever, they're not even. It's, it's not, not even. Yeah. Not even close. You know I mean? It's not, not even close. close so. yeah. It really. Bro, I'm already yeah. is it? on that side. Yeah. Yeah. Your people are gonna up uplift you, man. You know, like you need your people in your corner to uh to just thrive, bro. I right. think just keep going at the end of the day because. Like I said, you could 
we, we talk about it all the time. You could be the most self-motivated person ever, but if you don't have anyone in your corner, at some point you're going to get burnt out. You're not right. going to want to, you're going to second guess yourself. You need those people around you to be like, nah, right. bro, you're doing exactly what, what you're supposed to be doing. Just like Be Easy said earlier, like we're right where we're supposed to be and we're around the right people that we're supposed to be too. Right. You know, um, cause at the end of the day, it's going to happen, man. You know, where we're, we're going to get to where we're going. Right. Um, and it's, sooner than later you know but uh all that being said so in order to be successful in life is sacrifice mandatory no question it's not even a question no, but i, I think I you agree yeah yeah go ahead Ramon. i was gonna say everybody sacrifices something oh, yeah. and, and like like dg always says it's like you're disciplined to something right like if right. you if you watch if you watch uh, Netflix every night, you're disciplined to that. So right. some sacrifice is going to have to happen. This is it's in its natural course, right? Like if you don't work out every day, then right. you mm -hmm. deal with what's on the other side, that version of you on the other side of that. And if you do, right. the sacrifice is having to work out, but you see where that will, that will get you. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I mean? So I think that's just in right. every single thing in life. And right. um, it over the course of time, I honestly think our lives just kind of show what we've been doing. Right. Like you know, our, our, like our like our life, is however it's set up, is just like a direct correlation to the things that we've been doing and the things we've been sacrificing. Right. You yep. know what I mean? So yeah. I, I yeah. just think right. it's without question, bro. It's right. you know, yeah, you have to. Yeah. And to to add on to add on to that, I think you need a whole different level of sacrifice, right? Depends on the success and things you're trying to exactly. accomplish. If yeah. you say you're trying to make like 20 mil, bro, you can't be putting in that 10K work ethic. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to get you Agreed. there, right? right. So Agreed. I think like the amount, of, you know, the types of success that you are trying to accomplish, it requires tremendous sacrifice. If you say you want to be like the Kobe's, right? The LeBron, like you got, you're not, you can't just train for like two hours and expect to be at that level, yeah. right? You got to like work way harder. So I think whatever goals and aspiration you're trying to accomplish, it requires a whole new level of sacrifice. Yeah. Even like for us, bro, like we yeah. have different goals and things that we want to accomplish next year. And now we're, we're strategizing to kind of like create whole new ways of doing things different because we believe that mm -hmm. whatever we have done so far got got us on, the, on this uh, at a certain level. So in order yeah. for us to like 10X, 20X, whatever we're doing, we have to maybe work smarter, yeah. smarter, work harder, like do something different. Now we got to sacrifice more. It's yeah. like a game. Yeah. Once the game gets a little bit harder, your skill set got to evolve, right? You can... Yeah. Use the same skill set on level one. Now you're on level eight. So yeah. You got to keep elevating yeah. when it comes yeah. to your goals and your dreams. So I believe it requires Absolutely. a whole new level of sacrifice. Absolutely. If you're trying to get to that next level, I, for sure. I couldn't, I couldn't stop agree more. You tool. People stop getting tools in the game sometimes. Too. Yeah. Right. People stop right. getting. People stop equipping themselves with new weapons, and sometimes mm -hmm. it takes sacrifice to whether that's reading, right? Whether that's like you said, getting stronger in the gym, whether that's learning about something that you didn't know about. Those are the, like the tools. And the weapons to level up in that yep. game too. I, I like how you put that. Bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, bro. I mean, that's you. You you hit the nail on the head when you said the higher that you climb, the the more sacrifice it's going to take. You know, I think about it. I, I think about successes like Mount Everest, sure. right? Um, we we've talked about this a couple of times, but the higher that you ascend on that mountain, the harsher the conditions are going to get. Yeah, and let's say. Let's say you might start with a group of 15 people, right? You got 15 solid people who are trying to climb that Mount Everest with you. The higher that you climb, the harsher the conditions get, the more that people are going to quit. There's, gonna right. get, there's, there's only people that are going to ascend so high with you, right? right? There's only a certain level that they'll go with you. And then at, at some point, you're going to have to leave them behind. And yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, it's because you know that at the pinnacle of that is something that no one, if 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 any, Anyone or very few have accomplished. Think of the people who have successfully climbed Mount Everest. That's a very right. small group right. of people, right? right? Just like the people who have achieved massive success in life, that's a very small group of people. So, like when you talk about climbing that mountain and, and ascending and, and reaching your pinnacle and whatnot, your pinnacle might be higher than others. And you got to realize that at some point, though, you have to let people go in order to like reach your fullest potential. Right. You know, um, you can't take everybody up there with right. you as much as we want to, right? You can't take everybody with you. Um, but that's what I think of oftentimes. You know, we talk about those sacrifices. I think one of those sacrifices is having to leave certain people behind, right. family and friends. And that's the unfortunate piece of it, right? You know, like, I think what enough people don't talk about in the path to success 
and whatnot is the guilt of sacrifice. Right. Like the guilt that you carry, you know, the, it, it can take emotional and physical tolls on you when it comes right. to pursuing your goals. I don't right. think people, people don't address that enough in life. Right. It's just like everybody sees the success and they applaud it and whatnot. But like on the back end of things, it's just like, man, like I had to sacrifice so much to get right. here and I left a lot of people behind. Right. Did I want to? No. Right. But like right. at the end of the day, I got here and I'll never take that for granted. But right. that guilt that you carry along the way when you reach your pinnacle <laughs> is just like, damn, man, like I made it here. But it's just like I wish I could have brought more people with me. You right. know, and, and and I think that's something that people don't talk about enough. Right. right. You know, like um, I know the Captain Obvious, like <laughs> we got to we got to sacrifice more in order to accomplish more and to reach higher right. pinnacles but yeah. that sacrifice comes with a price man and that price either exactly. oftentimes can be guilt right no I, I agree also like even like when it comes to investment right one thing when you first start in when you first start investing right you imagine having like five hundred dollars you know thousand dollars or three percent down if your investment goes down by three percent it doesn't make, really make makes a lot you're like oh four but now imagine now you got 200k and now you're down 10 percent <laughs> <laughs> so it, 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 that was matter when you like you look at your portfolio like god damn i'm losing a lot right because the more you climb the more you elevate it's more responsible yep. right the same thing yeah, you say you want to make money now now you have 20 200k but now you're down 10 percent. that number is a lot more significant if you just only invest at 5k if you're down 10 percent. you know so that's mm -hmm. kind of like the mount everest example bro so the more you elevate man it's going to be harder yep. right it's going to be hard you're going to like you have to like do more you can just like, you know, expect to be doing the same thing that you did at level one. So now for me, the same thing, I got to right, find ways to learn more about investing, right? Because this is now, I'm not, I don't have to play money no more, right? This is serious business. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so it's like, you got to like, make sure you equip, like Ramon talked about earlier, you make sure you got the right tools, right? The right skill set. And that could be like learning, you know, reaching out to friends who are doing the same thing, learning from one another, you know, making sure you're doing more research. Because at the end of the day, man, like success requires sacrifice. You can't get to yeah. that level. Like, you can't reach to that pinnacle without putting in the work and grind. Agree. And sometimes it's gonna, I feel like once we start to elevate, it's gonna, even like having kids, bro, it's going to be sacrificed. Right? Once we start to have a family, we ain't going to have yeah. that much free time like we do right now. So all Hell those yeah. things that is going to require more. So I think right now, I believe, you know, I'm, I'm sacrificing a lot of things, but I believe in a couple of years, I'm going to sacrifice more things to get to that next level because we are yeah. trying to get better. Like everything we're doing right now, we want to 10 X. So we, we got to like grow more. We got to like learn more. We got to like invest more. So there's going to be a lot of sacrifices that we got to make to get to that next level, man. Absolutely. And, and it's hard. It's not easy. You know, it's hard because at the end of the day, you can lose a lot, right? Lose but a lot, think, bro. You know, just knowing that having that self-confidence and like just, you know, believing in yourself and just to keep pushing, and knowing that you're going to figure it out, you know, those yeah. are the thing I believe that keeps, that keeps me going for sure. Yeah. Like, like you mentioned, bro, like as you ascend higher, as you elevate higher, more and more sacrifices will need to be made. We talk about it, right? There's going to be guilt, everything that's associated with that. Um, and it can take a toll, right? When do you, do you think you can, because to Marco's point, he said a lot of people aren't willing to pay that price. Right. You know, a lot of people would rather live in that comfort. Do you think it's, it's easy to and how do people recognize when sacrifice is becoming detrimental you know because i think that's also something that oh, yeah. like is hard to like grasp sometimes because because right. where sometimes you sacrifice so much right. you know but also you know we talked about that the other day too is is can you over sacrifice oh, yeah. and i think you can right but like yeah. if, if if you were to like take a step back you know some people might say people like lebron like michael jordan like like all these people they sat like yeah they have they, they live these extravagant lifestyles and they accomplish so much but we don't know what they sacrificed on like on the right. day to day to get there right they could have right. sacrificed a lot and, and that, that's just what we don't know about right so right. of course we could sit here and from the outside say oh yeah you sacrificed too much right. but you're lebron james so right. like i mean was it worth right. it at the end of the day so so what do y'all think about that like do you think you can over sacrifice and if so mm -hmm. when do you recognize that it's becoming detrimental i feel like for me sacrifice become detrimental once it go, goes against your non-negotiables 
that's when it becomes mm. detrimental for real. You know, because like mm. if I like that boy, that boy, that boy talking some gems today. He dropped some gems. <laughs> that boy DG. Yeah. He said, "I'm a, he said I'm a pod today." That boy he said, "I'm a real pod of the day." <laughs> oh, that, he said, "I'm oh, a no, real no, podcast host no, no. today." He yeah, said, "I had, I had, I had to, I gotta Get tighten my headphones. I gotta right tighten my headphones." <laughs> that boy DG said, "I'm a real podcast host today." Hold up. <laughs> No, I believe once it goes against the detri- uh, your non-negotiable, that's when it becomes detrimental, right? If it's going against your health, right? For me, let's say our right, marriage, because marriage is important to me, right? Because that's something I grew up seeing my family, right? So no matter if I become busy, you know, like business takes off, and then I'm not spending time with my wife and kids, I end the day, yes, now whatever sacrifice I'm making to grow that business financial return is not detrimental because those, those are my non-negotiables. So mm-hmm. once everything, once those sacrifices I'm making doesn't go against my non-negotiables, I'm fine. Because I feel like those are the things that I'm not willing to sacrifice. Anything else, everything else, I can sacrifice the, the bottle service. I can sacrifice not traveling for two years. I can sacrifice not having courtside seat at the Nuggets game, you know. But once those sacrifices are going against my non-negotiable, that's when it becomes detrimental to me, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll just keep it that short. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Ramon. Hmm. Yeah. Microphone. Yeah, I, I get. I get. How much you? I guarantee you, he got to hop out, hop back in. <laughs> he, that, that, that's what happened when you got an Android. <laughs> Look at. He's he sitting there with the hot face because he got an Android. <laughs> yeah, go back. Look at him. <laughs> he got. He got an X out and come back here because he got an Android. You see what happens when you got an Android? He got that hot face because oh. the Android life. But Mark, Marco got a good point though. He's like, it's not a thing if you're in tune with yourself and your goals. I mean, that's true. But like, by the same time, right? What are your non-negotiables, right? You know, for me personally, that's why I think it's important. Yeah. Because I, if I'm, I, go ahead, Z. No, I was going to say, I absolutely agree. I think, I think in order to accomplish massive success, it does require sacrifice. But I do, to your point, DG, think that you can over-sacrifice. Right. You know, if you're starting to lean into the, um so heavily into your non-negotiables that it's almost becoming um it not not even almost like it it, it is taking a burden, a burden. Right. it that you have to start recognizing okay maybe i need to like figure something out here you right. know like maybe i need to you know have a conversation talk to these like for instance like you said if you got a wife and kids and stuff like that it's like all right like let me let me try and dedicate more t- you know, we talk about balance, right? Balance right. is hard to accomplish, right? I think right. balance. Everyone's like, "Oh, you got to find balance." It's hard. Balance comes in seasons. Ba- right. Balance, For balance sure. is something that I think we're always in constant pursuit of, but it's something that we never have in a long duration of time, right? There's always going to be something or someone who requires more of your time mm-hmm. than everything else in your right. life. It's just, it's just a matter of fact. Like it's, right. it's as much as we would love to be in equal balance of everything and be like a Buddhist monk where I'm just like <laughs> completely zen all the time. Because everything in my life is balanced. All I worry about is yoga, meditation, eating, sleeping, just complete balance in life. Yeah, of course we all want to ha- like have that, but the reality of it is. Is we're not all Buddhist monks. Right. So, like, you know, at the end of the day, we're human beings. We all have our flaws. And those sacrifices, man, um, they can't take their toll. They right. absolutely will. You know, I think to Marco's point is like when you're aligned with your goals um, and what it is that you want in your life, typically the people that are around you are aligned with that too. So they're more understanding. Right. You know, like your wife, if they're if she's my wife, she probably understands like the life that I chose, you know, like the um toll that it takes on me just like the burden of like how much weight i have to carry on my shoulders because i'm a provider right of all the things that i want to accomplish Mm -hmm. and whatnot Mm -hmm. so she's in line with that you know but i do think that at some point that can be detrimental to that relationship if all of a sudden i just completely abandon and disregard my wife or my kids or my family for whatever reason like then yes absolutely that does become a problem and and then that's where you really start to get into that questioning of like all right like I need to reset. Right. Yeah. Like, what do I need to do differently in order to um, accomplish more balance? Right. You know, because like I said, I don't think balance is something that we can attain in the long term, but I can always be in pursuit of it. All right. I only spent, you know, five hours with my family last week. 
that's a disservice to them. Let me, right. let me, let me set, let me set up this week to where, all right, I can, I can shift my schedule a little bit to where like I could spend, you know, two hours here, two hours there, right. you know, and so on and so forth. Like you can be really uh, intentional about that, but absolutely right. like over sacrificing can be, can absolutely be detrimental. Right. And Marco said, uh, take the negotiable non-negotiables out of the equation is it still possible yes. and that's an interesting question because i think everybody's non-negotiables is different you yeah. know how like see you said you you'll sacrifice a good time for your quality of life mm -hmm. there's there's somebody that will start sacrifice their quality of life for a good time you know what i mean they're like yo Yo, yeah, I don't care what's going on, bro. I'm having, I'm, you know, what I'm saying, I'm living, yeah. you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> right now, you know what I mean. So, you know, so it, it, it just depends. I think that's why it's hard to kind of judge of another versions, right. another person's version of over sacrificing unless we see them literally being detrimental to certain right. things yeah. in their thing. Like, yo, if yeah. they, you know, and, and that even that's tough, right? Because like, if somebody's like. I'm I'm over sacrificing and I'm you know I'm I'm missing jobs at my I'm missing jobs at my uh, days at my job because I'm trying to be an actor right. so I'm missing job and I'm losing jobs every week you might be right. looking like bro you are you doing way too much you over sacrificing until they land that big that, that big, big movie yeah right. yeah and then it's like exactly. oh well damn maybe all, I don't know you know what I mean so I think yeah. it it's it's hard to put those expectations on other people and that's why like we talked mm -hmm. about it earlier i'm not letting people put theirs on me right. because exactly. i can't i can't put it on them per se you know what i mean because i don't know what their vision is i'm not aligned yeah. with that right. agreed. you know so right. agreed yeah. yeah also yeah also marcus i think to not negotiable out of it yeah i think it's it's possible to over sacrifice right because i feel like at the end of the day you know in relationship business if you just doing more and the other person is not reciprocating whatever effort you put it in yeah sometimes you can be over sacrificing a lot right just like people being ungrateful for your time right taking your time for granted yeah, yeah you can be over sacrificing a lot so i i, I would say so it's yeah like, and then you gotta like reevaluate whatever decision you're making now you're like all right i'm doing way too much and i'm not getting ha half out of all the work i'm putting in and you're gonna treat me like this so yeah it's time to like reevaluate those type of situation so yeah, yeah in those type of situation you can be over sacrificing in my yeah. opinion yeah 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 i think i think we all i think we all agree over sacrificing is absolutely a thing and if it impacts your non-negotiables and i think it if it starts to impact like the overall frame of like your character right. too i think that's right. that's a huge thing right like if you're if you're overcompensating and over sacrificing so much to where you know people are starting to question like you know like is he a good person and blah 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 that's where it's just like hold up like, right. you know like nah you know like because right. um that's 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 a tough piece about success too right is you know at some point you're probably gonna have to make a tough decision you know right. um we t we talk about it all the time right is every billionaire innately immoral right. and i don't think right. not necessarily all of them you know i right. think some of them absolutely are but i think at some point they had to make immoral decisions right right a prime example Amazon, if Amazon decided to open this warehouse in this particular area, mm -hmm. and they know when they open that warehouse, they're going to shut down 37 local businesses. That That's an immoral decision, right? You're, you're putting 37 people out of business, uh, right. which is, 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 you know, leaving a lot of people unemployed. But at the end of the day, this is for this. It's, it's for the betterment of your own company, right. right? You know, and it's survival of the fittest. So like, I don't know. It's it's tough to say, you know, to your point, Ramon, is it's it's tough to say who and what is is um over sacrificing or not because like placing those expectations, right. we're all gonna look at it differently. Right. So I don't know. It's it's a it's a tough thing, man. But at the end of the day, I do think you can over sacrifice. Yeah, I feel like once once it's affecting, let's say it's affecting your mental health, let's say you you're working at a job, right? That job is paying you five hundred K a year. But you come home, you're drinking every night because you're stressed. Yes, I know that you sacrifice and that's as that's job is affecting over your mental health so for me in that scenario i would say bro like can you get a job that I pay a little bit less because mm -hmm. i think that you come home you you know you, you're doing drugs and alcohol you can't spend your co-worker is it worth it is the money worth it you know so those are the scenarios that i would say you might be over sacrificing right if because you see like tangible results like those mm -hmm. things is affecting our person 
But other than that, like Vermont talked about, bro, we all have different paths and different goals. What what might be my non-negotiable, it might not be someone else non-negotiable. So at the end of the day, I feel like once there's like a negative return on whatever you are doing, then I would say that is is being detrimental to your overall well being. Mm-hmm. I would say so for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a fact. Sacrifice yeah. is a lot, man. That's a, it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting too, man. It is. As, uh, it's a good, a really good conversation because y'all use it, even makes you think about how people live their lives versus mm-hmm. you. Right. And a lot of times, when you look at other people and they're like, "I wonder why they're doing that," or right. they looking at you like, "I wonder why they're doing it's that," okay. it's really just because right. the difference in sacrifices, the different right. sacrifices that you guys were both doing to upstand, right. uphold the life that you want that you're living. Right. right. Yeah. You know, and if you're good with that, then you're good with that. And, exactly. and don't you, just complain. My thing is don't just yeah, complain, don't, right? Like, don't complain. complain. If you if you're not good with it, then you gotta make a you gotta make a play. You gotta make you gotta make a change. <laughs> don't you know, don't you know what I'm saying? You can't be mad about how other people live their life and mad about what they got. Right. Like nah. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Nah. You see that you see that a lot, bro. There's a lot of people who always just hate, right? Just the haters, right? You see that a lot, right? Why are you hating someone else? Like when you can do the same thing. All right, if you say you don't want to work hard, cool, be fine. But don't see when Z and I in our PJ, um, in Monaco, mm-hmm. do not business meeting, be hating like we showing up, bro. Nah, you chose that path. You could have worked with us to get there. Yeah, you know, but you see that a lot, right? You know, yeah. like for us here on this pod, we want more in life. We want more from life. So we were willing to do whatever it takes to get there, right? Yeah. So yeah, other people might be like, oh yeah, they work all day. And I was like, yeah, to us. Those are the things that are gonna help us get there. You yeah. know, for the other person, they were chilling all day. They were watching movies all day, at the club all day, popping bottles all day. We could do that right now, but we believe that's gonna be a distraction from where we want to be long term. Yeah. Is that person wrong for doing that? No, cool, have fun. Am I wrong for choosing this path? Yeah. No, end of the day, man, we different different strokes for different folks. Different so strokes about for what different you folks, man. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And and don't be mad with me and DG on that PJ and that 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 yeah. <laughs> now DG go have the yeah. I'm gonna be on DG's yeah. I'm not gonna have a yeah. I'm gonna be on DG's yeah. Oh, but I am gonna have a PJ. And <laughs> it's funny because I was having a conversation with someone earlier, and they was like, "Oh well, like private jets are like detrimental to the like uh to the environment, right?" And I'm like, "Man, I could get like a I could get an EV like PJ, like what? Like I could get like." Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to have the type of money where it's just like, hey, my shit is electric. My shit is actually it's it's better for the environment. So you know we're gonna figure some shit out. I hear when people say detrimental to the environment. I bet they got iPhones too. They got phones and all that too, huh? So of course, of course. We all we all being detrimental in some way. We all got shit. We all got baggage. You know, like I'm gonna have a PJ though. though. I got a Tesla yeah. and you driving gas car. You made this. Yeah. You know I think, to... <laughs> I I think most, people, most people try to just point fingers at it, like the things that they're not doing. Like it's like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, um, they find, even if you, you finally start eating good and you like, man, oh, you eat that. Right. It's like you, people forget that you came from that sometimes yeah. or like mm-hmm. you, they act in this way. You, I think that's a, that's a big thing is people forget that they came from that. And instead of like trying to teach them, they just point fingers. Like you know, what I'm saying I, I don't I don't eat meat anymore. I can't believe that you're eating that. Like right. you used to though, and you used yeah. to tear that shit up too. I remember. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I feel like people learn shit and then they just act like the other person's supposed to be on that same journey with them and just figure it out the same way they did. You know. So yeah. I think more than that, we got to just put people on game and let them make their own decision. Sure. That's if you're it. Bro. Good with that, you're good with that. You know. So yeah, for sure. All right. So when it All comes right. to sacrifice, man. You know, we always got to have a would you rather, right? So if we're talking about sacrifice, if you could have $500 million, but never talk to any of your friends and family again, would you? Well, that joke sound low. Well, hell yeah. Fuck it, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, He's lying. I know he's lying. I know he's lying. Nah, bro, I'm just messing around now, nah, man. I, I can't, bro. Because in the day, like my friends and family, I can't, bro. Because I believe, bro. There, if I work really hard, 500 mil might seem so impossible right now, but the sky's the limit. So I'm not willing to cut off the yeah. people that have been in my life, my day one, man, my brothers, my friends, Agreed. for anything, man. So even though that deal sounds good. Okay, what if, what if you could put two family members or friends, like two, and then, but you can't talk to nobody else? Yeah, I, I can't, bro. Bro, I have so many dope people that money can't replace. I love them. I feel you. I feel you. 
<laughs> but there are certain things that money can buy, bro. And to me, that's like loyalty and great friends and family. You know, those are things that, yeah. So for me, I would, I would be sad. I'll be crying turning down that offer. I'll be sad, but I'll have to turn it down. <laughs> I'll say, no, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, bro. It's not, it's not even. It's not even a question. It's not, it's bro. not even a question. Not, yeah, I'm it's not there's not a. There's not a. There's not a dollar amount that could make me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go a different way with that. Like to be honest, like I'm. I'm. An, I'm gonna need my people, and I think we. We all would probably agree with that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like we, I, there's not a. There's not a dollar amount that you could put on that. You know? No. Nah. I actually, since, since I think we're on the same page, let me let me adjust it real quick. Let me just adjust it because and five hundred million is a big number, right? Would you for five hundred million straight, like all you could talk, talk to is your current friends and family? Uh, I would say yeah. But and you get and right? you get no no no, but you but can't you, make but new friends. You yeah, can't make yeah. you you can't meet anybody new. What do you mean meet though? Like, like... in anything, bro. You can't meet them. Oh, you yeah. can't meet what? them. What? You can never you can never meet another person. I would see, I would see people. <laughs> what? You got you got to not talk. You can't talk to them. You can't. Yeah, I, <laughs> you can't. I mean, if they don't talk to me, I think I'll take that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> it's a tell them, right? <laughs> it is, but I'll, I'll take that. Uh, you can't never meet another. You can't actively meet another person. That's fine. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Who I got? I'm, I'm, Bro, my, my, what? My, my squad is solid. I'll, I'll Everybody so, you know, I, know I, now I, is I, who I you know. I can't say. I can't say hi to the cashier. Like, what's no, your name? No. Like, oh, it's not. I mean, you can't. Like, like, Bro, that's crazy. Like, no, I thought about me like a conversation. Like, hey, my name is. You can't meet them, but you can say hi. I'm sure you can say hi. You got, but not just. just yeah, just I guess yeah, in hi, passing, yeah. in yeah, passing, yeah. but you can't like connect Bro, at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? No way that would be possible. <laughs> you just the can't. You can't, can't possible, connect. You just you can't. You, might as well, you can't you reconnect. Might as well say, you can't. You, might you can't well reconnect. Five hundred M's and you can't leave your house. Pretty much, no. it's like because bro. No, 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 no. Let's say no. You can't reconnect. Like you, you could talk, but yeah. you can't reconnect. Yes. You can't really meet. What I mean yes, is like you yes. can't like bring anybody new into your life. I like, agree. Yes, I'll take that. That yes, I'm good. Five hundred. Like no new. Like like that means that nope. means you know no diamonds kind of said it. No new friends. Yes. No new I'm, friends. I'm, I'm saying talking. like. I'm saying like with DG's probably good because you know you you know you, you got your girlfriend or something. Like, that means Z, you might we might be stuck with whoever we <laughs> we got I mean, the, all we could date. Girl, all we could girl. date is the ones that we've talked to in the past. Ain't so, no new so, ones. So so <laughs> yeah. So yeah yeah. I, 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 I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm I'm taking so, up 500 M. Oh, like, so no you mean friends. so you mean if I like damn. Damn. You just can't reconnect. Yeah, you could talk to people on, of course, through life, but you just can't reconnect with them. Like you can't. That's it. Like, if you if there's somebody, of course, at Burger King and you order and you could talk to them, but you can't be like, yo, let's link up later. Ain't none of that, bro. You know, <laughs> you know how mad you know how mad I would be if I like if I met like Zoe Kravitz or somebody and it, and, she, and she you chose it, it, you chose the, 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 shot, the, shot was there. the shot was there and I just couldn't reconnect, bro. I'd be I'd be devastated. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can say hi to her. That's it. Yeah, but I you can't ever. The do thing it. is, like, See, I can't, I, bro. What? But listen, though, once that moment is, so you can't recreate. You can't like come. I, mean, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. It's in the moment. Y'all can kick it one day, and that's it. I feel and you. I, I'm, and I'm cool with that. And I'm cool with that. Like, that means <laughs> that means I'm limited. Uh, my options are limited to who I'm marrying. To like, pretty much. Just, See, they, yeah. All right. You know right now, like you know. It's I, tough I, though. It's tough though because you can't you though. can't connect with anybody either. Though. Think about that. Like if you was trying to like get something done with that million, and and you bro, was I like trying to like you was trying to. I, I got five hundred million. I don't need a girl that no more. I'm nah, but if you were trying to build a good relationship, like what if you were trying to what if you was trying to like okay, you got the five hundred million, but you maybe was trying to build a relationship with the builder to, you know, like to get this project done because they like are like the head of. The, you know I, I, of, could, of this could, board I, I could somebody that. else could somebody else establish a relationship nah. for me like my nope. manager my like my man like my 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 assistant couldn't be like hey you know no no not even mention my name oh. just like just like my client is interested in working with you for I this mean, particular I mean, yeah it's they can't work. do it on your behalf bro yeah. like they can't it's, like they're just gonna no, no. i'm fine with that i'm cool just i'll just pay people to do the work yeah that's cool just get the job done i'm, I'm fine I'll, I'll take that bro <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. Good stuff. I'll take that. No new friends for me. So, so all the people I know. I want right to. I want to make it hard for me. For me, that's a hard one. It's that not. It's not an one. easy one. Now that's that's hard, bro. That's hard. Yeah, it, it's hard, bro. For me, I I I got solid people in my life right now. I know it sucks to say that, but for me, man, like I, I'm and five hundred M's. We we good. 
We got a generational wealth. I mean, we don't, don't get me wrong. wrong. With, with five hundred <laughs> M's, five hundred M's, I don't need to work again. Like I don't need to. I don't need to do anything. Five hundred M's, I don't need to make another dollar ever again in life. Like I don't need to. Yeah, you don't but, need to. But not being able to meet nobody, like, like, bro, I don't I, know. I, that's crazy. I, I meet every, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to meet nobody. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I love my network. I love my people, man. I do. I really do. I'm sorry, whoever's out there. Man, but watching. you know, like, when, you know, that time, those times, there's times when you meet people right. and you like, man, like, we should connect again. Like, you just know, like, whether it's just like a business or something cool, like somebody's just super cool or somebody, you know, like, if it's a timber street that you're dating yeah. or like, you know what I mean? Like, you meet somebody out, like, yo, I want to. I want to do this again. You wouldn't be able to. For me, that's what would make it hard. It's like, whether that is, you got the money to never need it again. But like, I feel like with all that money, you're going to want the stimulation of like, maybe some new people, maybe, you know, maybe yeah. just here and there, you might want to connect again with people that you meet. Like, you just know what I mean? Day, so, just connect with them for a day and then just repeat that cycle for new people. Just every day, just do it. Let, let it pass. Just go through life. Let it pass. I mean, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's hard. But for that, five, round, you taking the, that five hundred mil though? Easy. I'm, 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 take, I'm taking that. Yeah, I, I, I'm taking that, bro. I'm sorry. It's so dope out there. You know, I was like, yeah. You know, looking back, like, you know what? Probably we met some dope people that we should have connected, but it haven't really affected me that much now. Like, you know what? He, he was cool. We could have met. We could have connected, and I'm doing just fine. So I think I would do just fine for the next forty or fifty years of my life. Would you? Would it <laughs> change if you wasn't in the relationship though? It'll still change, bro. I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> that changed. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, but I'll still take the fire that I am still. And I'll just have to go back to my old. You just go, yeah, just spit <laughs> the black. <laughs> he said I'm he said I'm running it back, baby. He said I'm running it back. I'm just going back. <laughs> I'm gonna spin the block. I'm gonna spin the block with five hundred. Nah. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not spinning the block, bro. I'm not spinning the block, I mean, man. I have. To. I'm not I doing it. Ams, you know? I'm not doing it, man. I'm not doing it. Cause I'm. I'm like nah. Like, like nah. Mm -mm. I don't know, man. It's tough. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm a. I'm a lean. I'm a lean towards no, honestly. Cause five hundred M does is really attractive. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds. That sounds amazing. But I'm also like. My life, like I thrive on connection, right? And so, like I feel like you know, we already saw, we already talked about how hard it is to make genuine connections, and like if the rest of your life now, granted, I already have a great right. network of people that I genuinely like love and know that like I don't need anymore. But if you could never build any more genuine, like meaningful relationships with anyone else outside of your network, granted, I know a lot of people, but like. Right. There's still there's eight billion people on this planet, bro. Yeah, bro. You mean to tell me I can't I can't build any genuine connections with none of them? Like, and I got five hundred M's, so I'm like I'm in a position where I could be I could do whatever I want and want to build a relationship with whoever I want, and I can't. I don't know, man. That's that's. So think, let me ask you a question. The thing about it for like the past, uh, let's say past, past ten years, right? Like, has there been someone that you met and you be like, damn, you know, I, I should have built build this uh, build a relationship with this person? For yeah, sure, bro. Right? Moody. Yeah, Moody. I met Moody. I met Moody last year. The, in our, in our, that's what I'm doing business right. with. She's one of my closest people right now. Right. That was that would have sucked if we couldn't reconnect. And I was I, I'm on Z right. I'm on Z side on a no. Right. And I'm gonna just throw this in there because like imagine if like you got your 500 M's and they you know like you know you got you you know you getting drink somewhere you meet a, a group of people they like yo we got a yacht club man that's your yacht over there yo we link every you know what I'm saying every in. I don't know, every other month. And we right. just, you know, we do this little yacht thing. Where we bring all the yachts together and bring all our people and do like a big connection with all our people, man. And, you know, we should connect. No. Ah, I can't do I, it, bro. Nah, I'm I got, good. I got, my yeah. friends. I got my friends group. Like, you know, I, I I got my friends. I got the rich friends. We're good. We go hop out on Yacht Club, bro. We got 500 M's. We good. We don't need y'all. I, mean, I, I, I think that, I think that there's something feel cool. Feel I don't like it all the time around being people that, I don't like it all the time around being people that, uh, around people I don't know, right. but sometimes I do. I agree. Sometimes bro. I do agree. Uh, I like being around people I don't know and just, and connecting. You know what I mean? So I think I'm, 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 I'm leaning towards a no. I'm, it's tough. That's a tough one. I, was spin, I, I wanted to make it I'm tough because it's block. easy. I'm gonna spin the block and then I'm gonna keep my friends. Just, just like, just like Paige said, man. 
Just like Pay said, spinning the block is nasty work, man. <laughs> spinning the block is crazy, work. bro. Because I'm like, bro, like, bro, if if I got 500 M's, of course, anyone that you spin the block with, of course, they gonna want to be around, bro. I'm like, nah, you wasn't, you wasn't, you didn't hold me down when I was when I had zero M's. I mean, so, nah, so, nah, so, you so, can't, so, you can't hold me down when I got 500. Nah. Mm. Yeah, so solid people though, you know. Yeah. They, they yeah I mean, but man, it might have been once that you, it might have been once that you you just didn't work with them at that time. Right, Maybe because you right. was chasing something and you right, was. Yeah. But you had a 500 M's might make it really easy to kind of spin the block. To be honest, like, it's just somebody that you know was good, but you just like, yeah. you know, just the timing wasn't there. I was I was working on stuff. You don't have to work on anything if you don't want to yeah. anymore. 500 yeah. M's. You can just be like, yo, I'm if, if I still want to make music, I can just build yeah. a studio in the crib and just still do it. I don't have to pursue it the same way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, so it's like it, it could be different, but yeah, I, for me, I'm, bro, I'm I'm leaning towards no, bro. Yeah, bro, it's all right. Okay, man, okay. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna have to vibe. It's okay. We're I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. My final answer because like I know, like knowing me, like I, I don't know if I would settle with like anyone that I've been connected to, to thus far, you know. And even if I did. Like, like let's say I, I spun the block and I married somebody, and then we divorced. I can, like I can't go and meet you somebody. Keep, new. Yeah, I keep spinning the block. Keep dude. spinning the block, bro. That's crazy. That's okay. crazy work, bro. It's, it's, That's it's crazy. Okay. That's okay. crazy, bro. No, <laughs> no, bro. Unless <laughs> unless unless it's Zoe Kravitz, bro. Unless it's, it's okay. bro. I'm like it's okay. like. If, if I had if I had already met Zoe Kravis and I'd be like, all right, yeah. The word of the day is it's okay. <laughs> uh, nah, bro, I couldn't do it. I can't I couldn't do it. Anything man. from this podcast, the word of the day is okay. It would be fine. <laughs> I can't yeah. do it, man. I couldn't That'd do it, man. I don't think there's enough. To, there's enough money for the. I wanted to make it tough because we all agreed that we're not giving up our friends and family for 500 M's. But this one made me think more. Yeah. This one is the tougher I'm, one. I'm like I, I'm giving up new people for 500 M's. I'm <laughs> new people. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm finished black. Man, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I can't do it. I can't do it. Bro, I would. I can't be so it. mad. I would be so mad if I was at like a. Uh, a Grammys after party or something like that, and met Snow Allegra, and we hit it off. And I just like I couldn't like. You couldn't that, connect, bro. I'd, I'd be so mad, bro. I'd be like, <laughs> hell no, nah, man. No, no reconnects. No reconnects, bro. <laughs> bro, nah, nah, man. I couldn't do it. I can't do got, it. I'm gonna say no. Take, Cause just cause, go just cause I know yeah. I know how much I value genuine right. relationships and yeah. uh, cont being able to continuously build those. Right. I think is is important, man. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna say no. Yeah, any any that's closing a, that, remark because I'm I'm about to leave here pretty soon. Yeah. No, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just I'm gonna wrap on that same point. Z. We we have so many dope connections anywhere we go in the in the world that I wouldn't I would want to still be able to make those. And with 500 yeah. M's, I'm gonna be around right. the world. So yeah. you yeah. know. So, yeah. 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 So that's my my cl my closing remarks on that is man, you know, sacrifices is necessary, but the sacrifices that you choose is gonna create the life that you have right. you know what i mean that's my final remarks on that you know so yeah and, and mine is it's okay you'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> it's okay you will be fine man i, I think i think at the end of the day we can't we can't pick and choose what uh what sacrifices are worthy or not because at the end of the day you know whatever what everyone's vision and and um just ultimate goal of success is going to be different right. you know so you know like i said my version of success is different from yours you know right. and the sacrifices that we're going to make along the way are going to be different you know so we want to pick and choose like like you said we want to apply ourselves to other people and it's just like nah man like that's not what it is at the end of the day we know whatever it is that we want to accomplish if it's outside of the norm if it's outside of your comfort zone it's going to take sacrifice and you got to be willing to do it and and the thing that i love about us the most is we're willing to put ourselves out there on the line and sure. are able to figure that out. So, uh, you know, that's not so. Shout out to the Spot Network, man. Come on. You know, I appreciate y'all, brothers, man. Yes, sir. We are out, here, out here making greatness happen in real time. Yeah. So, absolutely, man. And also, I appreciate everyone who's live today. And shout out yeah, to everybody who tapped yeah. in today, man. Yes, sir. Paige, be easy, Marco, everybody that was in here, Vince, man. Yeah. Always love, man. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Always love, man. And then, and so y'all be safe. We'll okay. be back. We'll, okay. <laughs> we'll be back next Monday, y'all. We'll holla.
It'll be okay. Right, yes, it's okay. Y'all be okay. <laughs>